I'm Monica Cruz, bringing you the latest in labor organizing and worker struggles across the country. On Sunday, a group of 100 former Amazon workers and labor activists marched to Jeff Bezos' $165 million Los Angeles mansion, demanding a pay raise of $2 per hour, better benefits, and more safety measures to keep workers safe from the coronavirus. The protest was organized by the Congress of Essential Workers, which was founded by Chris Smalls, the former Amazon worker who was fired back in March for publicly speaking out against the unsafe conditions at the Staten Island Fulfillment Center he worked at. Last week, the company disclosed that over 19,000 workers were infected with the virus. The Congress of Essential Workers said in a statement, quote, we demand that Jeff Bezos and the rest of the billionaire class pay their fair share to deal with the climate crisis. We are calling for a decent living wage of $30 per hour minimum for all Amazon employees, Medicare and child care for all, and the right to unionize without fear of retaliation. These are just a few of the issues that we feel billionaires like Jeff Bezos, who makes nearly $4,000 a second, can absolutely help relieve or resolve. Bus drivers in Detroit returned to work Monday morning after a three-day walkout demanding safety measures to protect drivers from passenger violence and other increased risk during the pandemic. About 800 drivers walked off the job on Friday after a driver was suspended for defending himself against an attack from a passenger refusing to wear a mask. The city's transportation department and the Amalgamated Transit Union Local 26 reached an agreement late Sunday night to install barriers and put up restricted area signs so passengers don't come within 12 feet of the driver's seat and make PSAs instructing the public to wear masks properly on buses, not to approach drivers, and to remind riders that the city will prosecute individuals who threaten or harm drivers. Over 3,200 workers with the Alameda Health System in Alameda County, California, are on a five-day strike over unsafe conditions. Members of SEIU Local 1021, including nurses, administrative staff, food service workers, and more, are demanding that the Alameda County Board of Supervisors return to their role to supervise the system's hospitals. This may seem like an odd demand, but workers say the Volunteer Board of Trustees currently overseeing the AHS have made dangerous cuts to COVID safety and cleaning procedures. The local health system was run by the county and funded through public money till the late 1990s, but legislation made it a separate entity that receives loans from the county and forces it to pay back the debt, which it can only pay back through budget cuts. The union believes that the health system has spent over $6 million on its last minute hiring of scabs. Breakthrough is in touch with organizers on the ground in Alameda County, and we're preparing a more in-depth look into this struggle next week. That's it for this week's edition of On the Picket Line. Make sure that you're subscribed to our channel here on YouTube, Breakthrough News, and turn on your notifications so you get an immediate notification as soon as we post our video next week.